Oh shit. Oh no. Nice. Reaspire sent me their Warrior Fat Tire Folding Full Suspension Electric Bike. Cost about 1400 bucks and in today's review, we're gonna see if it's any good or not. Here's what the bike looks like when you get out of the box. And this is a customer return, so the bike is not in perfect condition. Maybe we'll uncover why the customer returned this bike. Comes with a two amp charger, and the rear suspension is K-Speed. It's got a rear rack already installed, 750 watt rear hub motor, and unlike most folding e-bikes, this is a 26 inch wheel. It's got 180 millimeter rotors and hydraulic disc brakes. Round rubber hand grips, throttle on the left, and an interesting arrangement of controls. And do not ever pull the hydraulic lever if there's not something in between the brake pads. If you do, you might have to bleed your hydraulic brake lines. It's got a quick release lever. First little issue I'm encountering here, the uh, there's no derailleur guard on this bike and the derailleur is bent. My guess is that happened in shipping. I'll fix it. Eight speeds on the Shimano Altus derailleur. Typical knobby tread pattern on the four inch tires. It's got metal fenders. The front one shiny. Back one is matte, like me. You get some adjustability on the front suspension. Comes with a relatively narrow saddle and a quick adjust clamp. See what this thing's all about. Power dried up. Respire. Fancy screen. Genuinely was not expecting this colorful screen. So it shows your wattage output and cycles over to odometer. Apparently this bike has 21.9 miles on it. Battery is almost fully charged. Check out the pedal assist modes. Goes from zero to five as usual. Here's what the light looks like. Normal light. Pretty basic headlight. It's also got a tail light that functions as a brake light. Oh, we got some power. With no load on the motor, it will spin up to 30. A lot. No way it's going that fast when we get on it though. But it will give you power beyond 20 with throttle only. It stops giving you throttle at about 28 or 30. Anybody know how I can get that mark off my floor? So check it out to fix this bent derailleur. I had to take this piece off here, just remove this bolt, and then basically get in here and pull on this and bend it back into place so straight. It was just bent a little bit. Tighten that back down, and now it's pretty straight. All right guys, we're gonna take the Reaspire Warrior up to 20% hill grade, see what kind of torque this bike has. Full throttle, pedal assist five, no pedaling to start. Ready, go. I weigh 200 pounds from a stop. What kind of torque are we working with? Not the strongest, not from a stop anyway. Let's give it another run here with a little bit of a rollout. We can see the watt is right there of the motor. Full throttle, 800 watts, 500 watts, 700 watts, 800 watts, 800 watts, 700 watts, and then once you slow down, it kind of takes away your power, probably to conserve the motor. So a little bit more of a rollout, about five miles an hour in full throttle now. We have 900 watts, 900 watts, 900 watts, 800 watts, 700 watts, 600. So not quite without pedaling, really not terrible. One more test here from a stop pedaling now, full throttle, and then I'm gonna give it some little pedal assistance. And in gear one, I can kind of get this bike up. You know, I'm putting in a decent amount of effort here uh, from a stop, 500 watts. So the Reaspire Warrior is okay at hill climbing. I've definitely seen other fat tire e-bikes that are able to do that hill a little bit better, a little bit more strong hill climbing ability. This one's not bad necessarily. The seat on this bike is fairly narrow compared to most other fat tire e-bikes I review. A little bit more of like a mountain bike style seat. Other than that, everything else feels pretty typical on this thing. Let's see what the zero to 20 is. Start in the Strava so we can see our official distance here and do zero to 20. Throttle's on the left side. So if you like to use hand signals while you're riding, throttle will occupy your signal hand. So no pedaling, I weigh 200 pounds, pedal assist five, throttle only, GPS in my right hand. Ready, go. And it ramps on the power. 900 watts, it's showing 930 watts. 15 and 20. And it will accelerate you beyond 20, still pulling 900 and some odd watts. I, sh I saw a thousand show up there for a moment. A little bit of headwind. So it looks like this bike is topping out with a slight headwind topping out about 25 according to GPS, 23 according to the onboard speedometer. But it'll just keep pulling 960 watts under throttle only. Brakes feel good at first. Feel. I mean, they are hydraulic brakes. They are Logan hydraulic disc brakes, which is, I've seen these on other bikes. They are generally fine. It's just kind of like a more unknown brand, I guess you could say. All right, let's see how the cadence sensor works. So pedal assist five. I'm 
gonna start pedaling and it's one of these sensors that just gives you all the juice doesn't matter how hard you're pedaling it's not a torque sensor pedal assist 5 it's just flooring it giving us 900 watts so it pretty much feels the same like the same as just holding down the throttle bump it down to pedal assist 1 slow the bike down brakes feel good at first feel pedal assist 1 is gentle giving us like 150 watts of power 100 watts of power you can see the meter right there i hope that shows up on the screen so very very gentle and it looks like it will offer us assistance up to about 10 actually beyond 10 miles an hour uh, but yeah it's kind of nice it just gives you like a consistent 150 watts of power until you get to 12 then it, it cuts it all off pedal assist 2 300 watts so i really love these bikes that do show you the watt meter and the, the display on this bike is genuinely pretty nice it's very visible to me i can read it very clearly and it's uh pretty so 200 watts of power up to about 16 now three gives us 400 watts and helps us on up to 450 watts still at 19 shifting into seventh gear so it is nice this bike does have eight gears and not seven at 19 miles an hour this cadence feels nice in seventh gear so just cranking out 450 watts now 400 watts at 21 starts to throttle us down at 22 we'll bump it on to four now and full suspension i can feel a little bit of bounce in the suspension now as i'm pedaling at a higher speed running 600 watts 23 miles an hour time to shift up to the final gear of eight made a minor difference uh let's just bump it on to pedal assist five now it's giving me 600 watts roughly still going 23 and boom pedal assist five now we're full max power thousand watts 25 miles an hour bit of a tailwind now so about 27 now my my legs are moving pretty quickly this thing will go i'm just gonna throttle it now tops out you know 26 ish but you can pedal a little bit more get wild and as we saw in the apartment it'll it'll bring us up to 28 <laughs> still pulling 900 watts e-bikes are fun man we'll give it a, a real brake test here in a few they feel grabby though these hydraulic brakes there's just about as good as any other hydraulic brake 180 millimeter rotors that's the ones to have Let's take it off road a little bit it is a full suspension bike knobby tires full suspension should make a huge difference in feel of ride quality compared to a bike i took over here yesterday this thing feels like a cadillac so pedal says five man it's it's really giving me a lot of juice and it's got enough power to bring me up this hill and full suspension big fat tires running relatively low psi about 12 or 13 i think it is it's a nice feeling ride so this bike is listed for 1400 bucks on sale right now it's a 14 amp hour battery so 14 amp hour on a i don't know what this bike weighs i think like 60 some high 60 pounds i need to bump this pedal assist down if you're running this thing on pedal assist 5 outputting a thousand watts you're probably not going to get huge range on a 14 amp hour battery 14 amp hour that's you know kind of middle of the pack it's always a trade-off with battery size you know you can get a larger 20 amp hour battery but then you've got a bike that weighs more so i guess you really just need to take into consideration what your use for the bike is are you going to go far or do you want something that's a little bit more light for a shorter trip that keeps the bike more nimble full suspension let me loosen this up there are adjustments i had the front one actually on a more firm setting it's a monster truck another monster truck the metal fenders you can kind of hear like little rocks and stuff like the sand i could hear clinging up against them a little bit plastic ones tend to make less dinging noises so let's go ahead and try that hill again pretty steep hill i'm gonna bump the saddle height up just a little bit i'm six foot five and this is the max saddle height so max saddle height comes a little below the handlebars swing our leg over that back rack up on here full throttle based on what we saw on the 20 percent hill grade test this one's probably going to struggle a little bit here let's see if it if the controller and battery will help us get up this hill so downshift all the gears and we're going to give it a little bit of assistance here motor's working hard 900 watts hear it still working 900 watts it's pulled me right up this hill though which is relatively steep hill this is not as steep as the 20 percent grade 20 percent grade the hill test i did in the garage that is like a maximum beyond uh manufacturer recommended hill test i need to measure the grade of this one it's actually getting steeper as we go but just pedaling lightly still pulling 900 watts getting a little bit steeper here 940 890 watts so it's pulling us right up this steep hill and i have had bikes give out on me going up this hill this one's doing it maybe we should go back and see if it'll do it under throttle only i don't think it could all right so brought us up the hill another gloomy day here in los angeles but you can see that's the that's the road we were just on down there so pretty decent hill climb on this bike 
Now this is a folding bike. It folds in half. A lot of the folding bikes, they typically have like a stem that's really goofy looking that will fold over as well. And like the whole handlebars will collapse. This one does give you like some foldability to kind of make it take up a smaller footprint, which is always nice if you're in a small space. And it's kind of like a high step style. So it's, it's fine, you know, it's fine. 1400 bucks, I mean, I don't know. That's for you to decide if that's worth it to you. So brakes on a long descent, decent descent. Brakes are grabby, really grabby. Hydraulic brakes are always my preference over mechanical brakes. And that's exactly what we get on this bike. They're feeling good. As good as these flowers are looking. Yeah, they're good brakes. Dude, that, that bird just had like a mouse. He was flying with a mouse. I totally wish I had the camera on. You see like literally a rodent in his talons. Dude, I see him sitting on that post off in the distance. The bird is eating the rodent on top of that light pole. Now that is a warrior. This is a warrior too. Maybe that's a little reminder for us not to take life for granted. Get out and live a little. All right, full throttle. Coming up the hill under throttle only. Let's see what it can do. 900 watts, 800 watts. It's a heavy bike. Has power though. 700 watts. 720. So as you slow down, the bike is going to reduce how much power it's giving you. But it does have good torque. It really does. I mean, still pulling me up this hill. I'm not pedaling. Now we're getting a little speed. So it's unleashing the 850 watts. Keep on going, bike. 714. It's getting a little bit steeper right here. Now a flat part. <laughs> All right. This is surprising me yet again. So 14 amp hour battery. I don't know what the controller amps are on this thing. I think we're gonna run into a problem here. I might have to help it just a little bit. I'm gonna have to help it, I can tell. Yeah, just, it gets a little bit too steep right here. It was gonna definitely stop. But overall, I mean, pretty solid climber and it's been holding this power for like over a minute, I would say. And the controller's not giving out, the battery's not giving out. So it'll give you a high level of power for a while. All right, I'm just gonna help it doing it and gaining speed okay so pretty much throttle only but not entirely throttle only the important thing is the controller didn't give out on us the bike didn't turn off so pretty good torture test on this bike so to talk about the comfort of the bike the seat isn't really my favorite there are round rubber grips they're okay i prefer ergonomic style grips with a little more padding but i mean i always wear my gloves anyway it cruises nicely though i mean i guess the question is you know what else could you get for 1400 bucks and is this what you're looking for running down down that hill a lot of confidence in these brakes full suspension man that was uh i love full suspension man full suspension is my favorite kind of bike even though it adds weight it just makes for such a better ride it's worth it in terms of the cost and the weight in my opinion on with the show do a little brake test here from about 20. yeah good brakes wasn't quite 20 but these brakes feel good they don't want to scare doggy man out he's like what are you doing bro <laughs> And we do have the fenders that protect dirt from kicking up on us. Full suspension, super cushy, wide tires get us through the sandy surface in confidence. No problemo. So let's talk about the pedal stroke on this bike and the uh, cadence sensor lag. Not pedaling. Pedaling, power's on. Not pedaling, pedaling, power. So pretty minimal lag on the cadence sensor. Really not bad. Watch out, doggies. All the doggies are out here today. It's got a, a bell. Not the loudest bell, but enough to get the attention of the doggies. They don't, they don't respect the bell at all. Let's do a brake test from actually 20 miles an hour. So 20 and brake. Oh yeah. <laughs> Great brakes. They're good. The 180 millimeter rotors will allow you to dissipate that heat too. So you can repeatedly do some hard braking on a heavy bike without overheating the rotors. Bring me right up this hill, of course. Always a little nicer doing stairs than a bike that doesn't have full suspension. Is it the best full suspension bike I've ever been on? Probably not, but it does have that rear suspension. So after about five miles of riding, it's still showing we have a full battery that cannot be true all right so final words on the re-aspire this bike does say it weighs 67 pounds and it does have a 20 amp controller all around seems like a respectably powerful bike but a 14 amp hour 48 volt battery gives us 672 watt hours of energy it's really about the middle of the road for a bike of this size for 1400 bucks i don't think the price is a ripoff or anything some of the components on this bike are not as name brand as you might find on other bikes oh shit Oh no, that's not good. Dropping lithium ion batteries. Oh, there's the key. That's how you would lock it in. Yeah, 
So that would hold, hold it in place. This should have been locked, but this was a return. And I guess the previous customer didn't lock it. So it just fell out on me when I opened it. Unlike many companies, they don't even have a range claim. A lot of times companies will give you like an outrageous range claim of like 60 or 80 miles. So it is respectable that they are not even, they're just telling you the facts, 48 volt, 14 amp hour. Whatever range you get, you get. I'd say you'd be good for about 25 to 35 miles on this bike. And if you are looking for a folding 26 inch fat tire e-bike, the Reaspire Warrior is an option. If you do want to grab one, I have a link below this video in the description box. If you did buy through that link, it would help support my reviews here at Tell Happy TV. However, if this is not the bike you're looking for, you can watch this video next. Thanks for watching guys. Give me a thumbs up, drop a comment, catch you next time.